What is going on today? I am so excited, as always, to be with you today. So go ahead and actually hit the love button, hit the like button so I know that you can hear me today. Um, sometimes my headphone jack just doesn't work and people can't always hear me very well. So go ahead, hit the love, hit the like so I know that you can hear me. And even just comment below so that I know that you're here and that we're doing the darn thing. Um, I got my guests already ready to rock and roll. So I'm going to be talking to Ben Azadi today. Of He's got so many cool different things that he's doing right now. But um, the perfect health community is what he's working on right now. And I actually, so before I bring you on, Ben, I found Ben a while back. He had something called the Six Pack mastermind and it was the coolest thing um he was always reading always sharing his um his excerpts of things that he was really munching on in books um i know he's been through the cardone uh, university through grant cardone and he's just such a well read super knowledgeable human on health but not just necessarily health in the physical sense but in the emotional the mental the spiritual all the things and so when it comes to supreme performance i'm going to add him here right now when it comes to supreme performance guys that we could be talking to so i am so excited everybody jumping on go ahead and comment with where you are coming in from and say what's up what's up i um, super excited to have you guys here, and I'm adding Ben right now. Guys, we're on day two of the Juice fan, juice Fast, Juice Cleanse. I'm curious to hear what Ben's thoughts are on, on juice cleansing. Um, but yeah, Amanda and I are doing day two. It looks like it's still adding Ben. Let's see. Let me see. Looks like he declined it. So we'll hit add again, and we'll see if we can get him back on. But um, today, this one right here is called Can't Compare, and it is um, it's turmeric and ginger and cayenne and i think there's some pear in it because it's called can't compare apple cider vinegar as well so anyways guys i'm super excited to be on today with ben and we're going to be talking about fasting we're going to be talking about fasting as an entrepreneur so trying to add ben right now let's see if we can get him on it says add do 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 do, do, do. But yeah, we're going to be talking about fasting today for productivity, Fasc fascinatingly enough, because I think for a lot of us, we think about fasting. And we're like, oh, fasting, right? That's about um, not eating food or doing intermittent fasting, which is another one I'm excited to jam with Ben about. But a lot of us are considering fasting and, and have talked about it, especially if we are high performers. Um, and so let's see if I can add Ben on here. Let's see here. Mr. Ben. One of the things you can do too, Ben, is um, if you're watching, Ben, is turn your camera to the side, making sure it's not up and down, it's vertical, but that it's actually horizontal sideways, and that can help as well. So, boom. Boom, there we is. What's up, brother? You look fantastic. Look at that nice blue shirt you got on there. Thanks, Matthew. What's going on? I'm just trying to adjust this so I'm not crooked. What's going on, brother? Not much, man. Well, a lot's going on, obviously. I'm I'm awesome. I'm super excited you're here today, man. You got your Grant Cardone uh, Millionaire booklet right behind you. You got I that do. perfect health right next to it. Yeah. Yes, yeah. sir. Awesome. <laughs> I got both. That's so good, brother. Well, awesome, dude. Uh, guys, I'm so excited to uh, to have Ben on the podcast. On the podcast. I guess we could just call it a podcast. Uh, Supreme podcast. Performance TV today. And uh, so thank you so much for coming on, Ben. Super excited, man. Oh, no, Matthew, thank you so much. I'm honored and grateful to be on here with you. And I see that you're up to big things, a lot of cool things. You're a rock star, my friend. And it's really cool to link with you and link with some of your friends on here. And I'm excited because tomorrow we'll be doing this again, all over again. So oh, right. two days in a row. <laughs> <laughs> Which I don't normally do. So I love that. I love it. It's just like the, it's going to be the Ben Azadi and Matthew show. You know, it's going to be great. So yes. uh, well, first off, Ben, I want to start, man, because I want you to take me back. And I like to do this for all my interviews because I know that we all have really cool stories of where we came from. Because I know at this point you have a super successful business that you're running. You're not only running a CrossFit gym, but you're also coaching, mentoring, and really shaping people's lives and transforming people's lives through fitness, nutrition, but also through mindset so many cool things that you're doing for people. And I'm sure there are people that see that and even see your office right now. And they're like, 
damn, I'm never going to be there. <laughs> but to know that like Ben once started, you know, and I know you've been through Crank Cardone University and learning sales and all these things. So it's like, take us back to like when Ben first started to get into health and when you first started to even get into like, I really want to help people in this capacity. Yeah, yeah, great question. Well, first of all, I was overweight for most of my life. Uh, actually, really? obese. Yeah, and so I was 24 years old. I, I would have guessed that. And, yeah, and uh, I was 24 years old. I was really rock bottom going through a bad breakup. My ex-girlfriend dumped me at four years. I was a packing and shipping man manager at a, at a store here in Miami, and uh, I was rock bottom. I weighed 250 pounds. I had about 34% body fat, I wore a size 40 waist pants, yeah, that's and I was miserable. I was depressed, and I was rock bottom. But just like Grant Cardone says, the beautiful thing about hitting rock bottom is that it gives you that springboard to launch from, right? So I used to, be, I used to blame everybody for my problems. I used to blame my genetics, my metabolism, my family, the traffic, the news, the president. Yeah. And then, you know, I started reading books, and I started surrounding myself with people who were winning in life, and I realized that Everything in my life is a result of, of me. I control my circumstance. I am responsible for my life. So I took full responsibility of everything. And I said, I am responsible for everything in my life, for the, my weight, for my health, for every scenario. And uh, I started working out. I started reading books. And nine months later from that point, I lost 80 pounds. Nine, nine months later, I went from 34% body fat to 6% body fat. But, but more importantly than the physical transformation, I transformed my mind. I used yeah. to be, I used to be um, uh, mentally obese is what I call it. And now, uh, nine months later, I had a mental six pack, like you spoke about the mental, the six pack mastermind. So that's where I got it from. Uh, but, and then I became a personal trainer because I, I got fit and a lot of people wanted to know how I did it. And I figured why not turn that into a business, right? My friends were asking me, people wanted to know. So I, I left my job and I started my first company, Shred Fat, and I started training clients off of uh, Craigslist and word of mouth. And they used to come to my old childhood home and I used to, my sister moved out and I converted that into a little in-home gym and I had strangers coming in and out and I was charging like $25 for an hour session. Yeah. Uh, so that's where I got started, man. And, and it all just snowballed from there. And I developed that passion. I kept reading and growing and just taking myself and challenging myself. That's outstanding, man. Well, and I think that, that that's a really fascinating place even to start. You know, you mentioned the $25 an hour and just like, I know there's so many entrepreneurs on here, especially people that are starting their own thing. And there is this level of like, oh man, how do I charge like money for this? Like, I remember thinking when I first started, I, I did coaching for free at first and mentorship at, for free, probably for the first couple of years, because it was hard for me to really, and I don't want to take the answer from you because I want to hear it from you. But like, for me, it was so difficult to own that it's like, you know what, the value that I'm providing for you in this hour is worth money in exchange for that yeah. it's value for value. But I'd love to hear for you, like when you first started on that journey of receiving money for your services and what that was like for you. Yeah, I just wanted to get my feet wet, and I uh, figured I'm gonna try. I'm gonna be the most affordable personal trainer. That was my actually my uh, Craigslist, um, the most affordable personal trainer in Miami or Miami yep. Beach. <laughs> and I got some clients because, and I got my feet wet, and I did the job. Um, but yeah, there, it, it's all great and adding value and doing things for free and giving to others. But then there also there's also you need to value your services and. And people are going to train harder and be more committed when they're paying more money, right? Uh, uh, I have people who pay hundreds of dollars per session, and now they're committed because they're investing in their life and their health. So there is that balance between those who are paying $25 or $50 who didn't really take that serious, and they were getting okay results. The people who are paying more money, and they're fully committed because they're invested, and they're getting the real results. So it's like... It's just shifting that mindset, right? And also valuing yourself, which I'm sure you talk about with your clients and, and, and what you speak about valuing your services, valuing who you are as a person. And that's something that I still struggle with. And I have a business coach and he's helped me over the years uh, open me up and become more aware of my value. So I'm working on it as well. That's outstanding. Yeah, you know, it's so fascinating because I feel like a lot of us that grow up in um, you know, whether it's like middle class families or whatever. But sometimes I think especially if we have things like I was also very overweight. And I think 
when we come from a place of there, yeah, it's from a, a, a young age where the, it doesn't feel like the value or like the worth inherently is there inside. It's really hard then to command it on the outside for sure. So totally understand that. I would, so I would love to hear, Ben, I know you are a prolific reader and guys, for those of you watching that are part of my community, either on replay or live, I want to just, I, if I could impart one thing about Ben that I just absolutely adore about this man is that he really reads like he's really well, well read when it comes to, to books and to, to literature on self-improvement, but also on entrepreneurship and sales and all the different things. So I would love to hear more about that journey for you and your thirst for knowledge and, and really what brought you to now. It seems like you're reading seven books a day. I don't know what you're doing now, but it seems like it. So I'd love to hear kind of a little bit about that journey too for you. It's so, it's so interesting because when I was in, in college and high school, I hated to read. Yeah, absolutely. I was a bad student and I hated wow. to read. Uh, and then I started reading books that actually resonated with me, health, mindset, and I became obsessed with it. Like I used to be obsessed with video games and, and uh, I used to be obsessed with eating bad foods. And I just transferred that obsession to knowledge. And I got into uh, Grant Cardone and Ty Lopez. Ty Lopez was somebody that I studied a lot and he would uh, talk about all these books that he's reading. So I would, you know, be like, oh, this guy looks successful. He's, he's got a lot of money. Let me start reading books, more books and see what happens. And I started reading more books. And I feel like books are a GPS to success. You know, it's like we're learning from the mistakes of other entrepreneurs, other successful people, and we can learn from those mistakes and not make those mistakes and just learn from their victories and use that to kind of catapult us forward. And it gives us confidence. It gives us, it gives us competence because I believe confidence comes from competence. And uh, I love it. But I did make a mistake a couple years ago <laughs> that I want to talk about so somebody else watching this could learn from. By the way, we see Daniel on here. Our great friend Daniel Eisenman. What's up, brother? What's up, Daniel? Um, I love it. So I made a mistake a few years ago. Well, you know, I learned from it, so I wouldn't call it a mistake. It's I don't I wouldn't call it a failure. I would call it more feedback. And what I want to share with you guys is that uh, I think it was two, 2015. Yeah, it was three years ago, two or three years ago. I wanted to read a hundred books in a year. Okay. And I I did it. I read a hundred books in a year. I actually read twenty three books during the month of uh, April three three month three years ago. Twenty. I'd read like eight hours a day for the whole month. And I read a hundred different books and it was great. But however, uh, I felt very confused and all over the place and, and scattered. And I felt like if I would have just gotten maybe a handful of like 20 books or 15 books and read those over and over and over, I would have been far more deeper and closer to where I wanted to go rather than spreading myself out thin. So now I read a lot. Like you said, I study three hours every day, whether it's podcast or whatever, YouTube videos or reading a book, but I dig deep. And that's, that's more beneficial for me. I dig deep. That's outstanding, Ben. Yeah, it's funny. I, so I worked for a internet startup at one point and we were creating the Netflix for optimal living is what we were saying we were creating. And I remember leaving that company eventually. Um, the company just made some shifts and, um, and I joked that I had wisdom constipation at the end there because it was, but it did it like created this level of like overwhelm and and like actual like oh my gosh confusion because there's so much coming in at me that it was you're right that we all had this like capacity that like when we reach that it's like it just it's like the information's crowding in on us and it's hard to actually like glean anything that's actually useful um, to put right. out. so that's awesome man so tell me. Today, we're supposed to be talking about fasting. So let's talk about fasting. Yeah. I want to hear more about fasting for high performance um, and productivity. Tell me. Tell me about your methodology and more about what you're doing with people. Yeah. Well, fasting, a lot of, I get a lot of people who tell me, oh, yeah, I heard about fasting. It's popular or I heard it, it's like a trend. But I want people to understand that it, fasting has been around since mankind. You know, the whole reason we exist today is because our ancestors, they were forced to fast. There was not this abundance of food available to us. So fasting is a dietary intervention that's been around for thousands and thousands of years. And it's actually the only one thing that Jesus Christ, uh, Buddha, and um, uh, Gandhi all promoted, <laughs> that they all believed in, and the Prophet Muhammad. They all believed in this one thing, the power of fasting. So it's not new. It's not a fad. It's not a trend. 
Uh, it's not sexy because there's no money to be made from it, right? There's, there's money to be lost from it because think about it, a lot of these companies are going to lose a lot of money right. if people start fasting. So it's a powerful tool. I've been doing it for over four years now, uh, variations of it. And it's the most powerful health tool that I've come across. And it's kind of like a chainsaw. A chainsaw is very powerful, but if you don't use it right, it could also be deadly. Same thing with fasting. It, it's very powerful, but you have to understand what it does for you and, and the, the variations of it. So in, in regards to our talk today, uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna really, I'm gonna talk about more for performance and brain function as an entrepreneur and crushing it in your life. Please, yeah. That sound good, Matthew? Sounds awesome. I'm stoked about this. <laughs> yeah. So what, ha when, what happens when you're fasting is your body thinks like, oh crap, I need to keep myself alive and find my next meal. We're just hardwired that way. We haven't evolved out of our hunter and gatherer ancestors. And if you look at our hormones, that's just the way it is. Yeah. So when we've gone 12, 16 hours with no food coming in, these amazing, amazing processes start happening your body literally pumps you full of energy because it thinks that you need to stay alive to find, go hunt your next meal. Right. It doesn't know that I could just walk down here and go to my fridge and you know just feast. It doesn't know that. We're just hardwired that way when there's no food coming in. So you have what's called counter regulatory hormones okay. and they run counter to insulin. So when you eat food, your blood sugar goes up. So there's insulin, insulin grabs the blood sugar, puts it into your cells for energy and you store body fat. It's a wonderful, amazing process. When you're not eating food, insulin stays down and you have these hormones that run counter to it that are cortisol your sympathetic nervous system uh, glucagon and all these are um give you energy all these make you more focused make you sharper and your, your brain actually produces something called brain derived neurotropic factor which is a, a mouthful but it's pretty much like fertilizer for your brain and why does this happen? Because our body wants to help us find our next mo uh, uh, meal. It wants to help us hunt and kill that next meal. Not necessarily walk over to Chipotle and order something, but uh, <laughs> it is no difference. It is no difference. So I have, I personally do a 18 to 20 hour fast every day. Wow. And I get most of my work done in a fasted state. I feel like my brain is on fire. And a lot of my clients that I put on a fasting pro uh, protocol, they tell me the same thing. Wow. That's so that's just, yeah, that's just um, one example. Um, and the different ways to do it would be, I'll give you a small example, a small way to start doing it. Have your last meal at 8 p.m. and then don't eat anything, go to sleep, and then have your next meal at 8 a.m. That's a 12 hour fast. That seems totally doable, right? Yeah. Most people don't do that. Most people will have a midnight snack or they'll wake up and eat something right away. That's a good way to start. And then you would want to kind of carry that maybe until lunch and you'll skip breakfast and go till lunch, 12 o'clock. And then you'll have a 16 hour fast. Uh, a good goal would be 16 to 18 hours consecutively consistently. This is, this is teaching your body to keep insulin low, tap into your body fat for body fat fuel, for energy. And you're going to notice a significant difference in uh, your energy and your, in, in your focus and your clarity. It's, it's amazing. That's awesome, man. Yeah, that's actually something that's something I've been doing. So I've been doing the 16 hours I go till about noon. And, uh, and it's fun. I actually I kind of enjoy like a little bit of a challenge of like, all right, I can make this till noon. And um, but yeah, what do you say for those of us that are that are in that case, because I think a lot of high performance are starting to see about intermittent fasting, like you said, it's nothing new. It's been around for millennia, like since the beginning of man, mankind, uh, humankind, I suppose. So what yeah. do we do when we're like at the like okay i can get 16 hours how do i get to like 18 hours like what are some of the things that you do to supplement whether it's i know some people do the bulletproof coffee and they're all about the dave asprey thing like what are some of the things that you do um to supplement during that time that you are fasting yeah that's a great question uh and there's actually a group out in um silicon valley called we fast and it's a group of like twenty thousand plus entrepreneurs who fast and they do it because not because they need to lose weight because they're all pretty like skinny and lean, but they do it because it gives them that like um, that advantage over those entrepreneurs who are not fasting. And then they break fast and they have this whole networking thing. It's really, really cool. That's really cool. And, and there, yeah, and there's hacks to get you through it. So like you said, definitely drink a lot of water. Water is going to be important. Uh, I'm not talking about a dry fast here. Right? Water is important. And I would always recommend throwing a little bit of some Himalayan pink salt maybe about one to two teaspoons, very little, in the water in the morning on fasting days. 
that helps with a lot of the symptoms of like lightheadedness and hunger pains sure. and uh, grumpiness and, and being hangry because it's that electrolyte imbalance that you get. So that'll take care of that. Now, what I do is I do a fat fast. So like you mentioned, I have bulletproof coffee in the morning. Yep. Uh, and uh, I'll have my, you know, really high quality coffee beans. I'll make that grind it fresh, put it in my French press, pour that into a blender. In the blender, I'll have one tablespoon of the brain octane oil by Dave Asprey's Bulletproof Company. And then I'll put one tablespoon of the grass fed Kerrygold butter and I'll blend it together for 20 seconds. And it has like 300 calories or so. But here's the cool thing. The, you're not raising insulin because it's 100% fat and fat doesn't really raise insulin, protein and carbs do. So you're still getting almost all of the benefits of fasting, but you're still able to have coffee and calories. So that'll get you through the day. So I do that in the morning, uh, about an hour and a half after I wake up, and then I'll continue fasting. I'll work out, do a CrossFit workout, something similar to a CrossFit workout, continue fasting two to three hours after my workout, and then I'll break my fast with like some bone broth and then a huge um, green leafy salad. Like I'm talking about like seven cups of like green leafy vegetables and avocados and eggs and fish and a lot of healthy stuff in there. So that'll help get you through the day, that coffee or tea. Wow. And so those are your meals. You do the bone broth and then the leafy green. Is there, an, is there more to your meals? Yeah, that's usually my go-to to break the fast, the bone yeah. broth. And then an hour later, I'll have a huge salad, huge salad with avocado, eggs, or wild-caught fish, and some, like, macadamia nuts, and a lot of olive oil. I'm a huge fan of olive oil, like real olive oil. Yeah. Then I'll wait a couple of hours, and I'll have my, my dinner, uh, usually around 6 or 7 p.m., and that'll be more... Uh, maybe like half a sweet potato, some more greens, vegetables, maybe some broccoli or something like that. And I'll have blueberries for dessert and some dark chocolate. It's usually my go-to. I love it, man. Dude, you are <laughs> a mean fighting machine. That's awesome, Ben. That is about like as clean of eating as I've heard. I mean, obviously, <laughs> but like considering how clean you are, like the rest of the day, that's extraordinary. That's awesome. Yeah. And that's so a good day. I'm not that good every day. Yeah, that's what it's like. It's like a ninety percent of the time. Yeah, that's great. Yeah, yeah. Good for you, dude. I love that. So, so then, what's the capacity in which you work with people? Then I would love to kind of transition to like. So, if somebody's interested in this and wants to know more about what you're doing, obviously. So, number one, tell us links and all the things, and I'm sure they can connect with you here on Facebook, obviously, your messenger. But what are some of the ways in which you work with people, Ben? I know you have your CrossFit gym. How else do do people get to connect with you and and actually do work with you? Yeah, thank you for asking that. Well, I, I came out with this book, my first book. It came out last uh, December, and this it's called The Perfect Health Booklet. So you see the Grant Cardone book there, the Millionaire Booklet, and I'm sure you've read it. I'm sure a lot of, oh, your, yeah. uh, a lot of people watching this have read that book, and I've read it several times. And this book is actually the health version of the, the Millionaire Booklet. Wow. So, yeah, I was walking my dog one day, listening to that book again, the Millionaire Booklet, for like the fourth or fifth time. And I'm like, man, Grant... Grant Cardone really did a fantastic job, like helping somebody really, he simplified how to earn money, save money and multiply money. He like did an excellent job for anybody, a teenager to understand it. And I'm, and I'm walking my dog and I'm like, what if I did the same thing for health? <laughs> like, what if I did the perfect health booklet? So I immediately got home and I looked up, I'm sorry, my dog's okay. Okay. I looked on GoDaddy to see if that domain was available, was available, snatched it up, and I just started writing, and it just, like, flowed out of me. And, and this is the book that came out of, uh, from it, and it came out in December. It hit number one in the world uh, in, in my category within 12 hours, and it's helping a lot of people. I get a lot of emails throughout the, throughout the week. So definitely get this book. You can read it in an hour. It'll help you understand perfect health, which is just getting your body to function normal, to function the way that we were designed to function. Yeah. Um, and, and I do health coaching. That's, that's my big, my big thing besides the CrossFit gym. Uh, I do health coaching and that is something I developed to help people worldwide and not kind of, uh, just in this area, but anybody worldwide could go to my website, which is shredfat.com and they can look at my head coaching, health coaching information. And if they want to hop on the phone with me this week, I do offer a free 15 minute call. And, uh, that I'm very passionate about because I have people who, have all different ailments and diseases and problems like type two diabetes or um, multiple sclerosis or need to lose 200 pounds. Somebody who just wants to get super fit and, and perform 
as an entrepreneur. So yeah. all walks of life, they come to me and I do this health coaching for them, similar to what you do with your coaching and helping people function at a high level and, and take it to the next level. So I do that with health. And that's what I'm, I'm truly passionate about that. I love doing that. So awesome. Ben. And it's so like vitally alive in you. Like I, I can feel your energy through the camera. It's beautiful. And, and it's just such a testament to you being a demonstration of it rather than just someone instructing on it. Right. It's like you demonstrate the things that you teach, you walk, your talk. So, um, so excited to know you brother. I'm so excited to continue connecting deeper and further and everybody please do reach out to Ben. If you are at all interested in having perfect health, which like who the hell doesn't, especially as an entrepreneur in 2018, I think we all want that. So um, cheers. Thanks so much, Ben. And uh, have a fantastic day, brother. Appreciate you. Thank you so much, Mandy. I really appreciate you. Guys. Have a wonderful day. And tomorrow we'll do it again. We'll do it again. All right, brother. Talk to you soon, guys. Thanks so much.